Hey y'all, <clears throat> this is the Xinjiang session. Primarily, what we were doing was working on music. <clears throat> Primarily, what we're doing is working on music stuff. And what we're going to do is show you something that may save a lot of money and a lot of time if you're a musician or you're a mechanic working on one or the other, long story short. The audio part, you probably want to block out and focus maybe on the session that I'm about to speak of. <clears throat> and the word spiritual steps may not be right. You could call it the SS audio, the SS video. And um, don't ever say and um when you're speaking. And then try not to drink a soda or smoke a cigarette when you're nervous. Or, in another order, try not to smoke a cigarette and drink a soda. Long story short, I should put pause, should push pause. The military language for push is Papa Uniform Sierra Hotel. The military language for pause is Papa Alpha Uniform Sierra Echo. That what you're looking at is a guitar tool. Uh, it's not necessarily for master musicians, <clears throat> singers and guitar players, but... There's other tools I'd rather speak, like way, way far, way, 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 way far away from people about <clears throat> what you should do, what steps you should take, and there's a better word, what steps are recommended for you to be spiritually more right as a singer or a musician, a songwriter, whatever word you think is right, that's the right word. It may not be the first or the second word, but usually the third word may be right. So the military language for usually the third word <clears throat> is uniform, Sierra uniform, Alpha Lima Lima Yankee, Tango Hotel, Echo, Tango Hotel, India Romeo, Delta. Maybe right, you guys are on your own. You can uh, Google for a correction. You might, want to, you might not want to do that first time. Correction, you might not want to do that the first time, but you may use words like military or phonetic alphabets. And, if you want to go deep, I don't recommend it, but go into history or nomenclature. <clears throat> that way you can share what you feel like is needed to share first and what you need to... This is not recommended, but to set tense to work well within thyself and or spiritually stronger, being able to go to others when you're ready. So you might use languages or your sentence, when I'm ready, I'll be able to go to others. It's like, I think I can, I think I can. You can use the Little Red Train theory, the Energizer Bunny Rabbit theory, I can, I can, I can, and do it 20, 30, 40. Uh, I recommend at least 50, 60, 70, and maybe 80 times do something and make it work. Make it, get it right the first time, try to get it right the first time. Usually I'd push pause here, but we're not going to do that. For guitar players, there's a lot of <clears throat> stuff that I'm going to say shoddy is kind of hard to work with. You may not be happy. You can make protocols, uh, prototypes is what we call it, for comfortability, if for lack of better words, or easier playing, or <clears throat> situational resting. <laughs> That's something that I use, work on one small piece at a time. You know, that's kind of smooth i call them beveled edges so it makes it comfortable and it does go back to the lord and ribs and we're not going to talk about satan about he failed the band ultimately he's still failing all of our bands you guys are on your own definitely i, I don't recommend worshiping satan because there's no such thing that might be something strong to say to keep you <clears throat> trying to go row go or row spiritually more on the spiritual right track go to others and share there's something that I'm going to say that may help, and, and it's probably not going to help you. It may help somebody else to share this gut level or rigorous works. You know, gut level works will be like, well, you got to <clears throat> think, slow down, and, and ride with the tide. That's a joke. You know, think, think, think first things first and easy does it. Whatever works for you. But usually I wouldn't do that um, right there, show part of my fingers. But there's a way to check out your instrument that you may not be happy with and you want to i don't recommend go thoroughly over something but check everything the electronics the back plate of course i left on that's a bitch for some guitar players uh there should be a tool 
you got to make up the name of it, but it is recommended to work with the back plate off to get the old strings out. Use toothpicks and recommended maybe thin pins and metal to get in there to get the ball in beads, what I call that piece right there. That one's kind of right there. You can use whatever you want to, a tip or end or a ball in piece or whatever. Same one's hiding in there. We're not going to dig that one out right now. But there's got to be a way to have a tool that makes it easy for stringed instrument workers. And <clears throat> this is something that shouldn't be in this video, but for classical guitar players, they have ball in strings that you can buy. And it's worth it instead. Of, I call it cat, cat cross stitching. Gut, uh, gut string cross stitching that's what I call it in the old days classical people would tie knots here it takes a lot of time to run it through and roll it up run it through and run and roll it up and it's rock and roll cross stitching long story short for classical ball end strings that I would recommend and, and what I do is because I'm not working on being a spiritual master or perfectionist is when they put the classical ball end strings on Maybe put the, this is an E, A, D. Put the D classical string on first and put the G on second and that way you're, you know, recommending ball ends all the way up and then tighten them from the top. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Speed winders are recommended for all that. Um, even needle nose pliers work from the back end of the lift of strings, pulling them out, pins and thin pins and that would be a good, good name for a new tool, thin pins. You know, like this one tool is okay, mighty fine or nice. <laughs> the okay, mighty fine tool. That's a joke. Okay, mighty fine, nice tool. But it works because you get the different sizes that are recommended for working <clears throat> with the spiritual tools. Originally, where I was headed was right in here. And I'm not going to go there right now. This is and humility things I had to learn and because I'd rather sing and perform even if I sound shitty I'd rather do that and just keep doing it even when I'm nervous than work on guitars that was something I didn't like I, I'm wrong but I felt like other people should get the instrument right for us first and then we'll be able to perform a little more spiritually right so I probably shouldn't say this but way may hey you know, make up songs while we're working. They have songs about that, like jokes. And I probably really shouldn't show this, but for people who aren't aware of the the history of the electric guitars, 1929, the frying pan, you guys are on your own for that one. And after I show this, I'll probably go ahead and say the original three people that created the frying pan. Thank you, Jesus, for the Spanish. They say yes. The Spanish people wanted to play rock and roll, and so did the Hawaiians. So George Bochamp, uh, <clears throat> Adolf Rickenbacker, and Les Paul had to create a 1929 frying pan. And that's, uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, seriously, very seriously, Jesus. You guys should edit the mess out there. But long story short, <sighs> thank you, Jesus. You guys are on your own to write whatever you want to. Get back to the right track. So, originally what I wanted to do was share about how maybe making things easy when you're working on uh, stringed instruments. And when you're cleaning a lot of this, what you want to do, I learned it from a student, is spray clean substances on a rag and then wipe it down. It works. You want to usually put the stringed instruments in a, I call it a cover, or a blanket, or a case. That way you don't get no dust. It's a joke. You don't get no dust on your broom. Anyway, so that's a joke. You get no dust on your broom. Let the Lord make you make more room. Anyway, this mess over here, you can edit that out. But back here where I was trying to get was cleaning. You can use uh, different types of tips and cloth and put it on the end of this and, and clean all in here. But I do recommend, like I said, take the back plate off and take the pick art off. Later on, you can get in a master of string works about uh, pickups and potential pots is what they call them and electricity and I didn't think and I don't think uh, there's enough time that or anyone's gonna listen to this but the reason the electric guitar was made in a sequence where they had the string instruments already out and people could play with those and have fun 
and that led into rock and roll louder and more fun. So I don't know why they didn't just call rock and roll MF F more fucking fun. Anyway, louder, more fucking fun. LMFF, let's play some loud motherfucking rock and roll. That's a joke. I don't know how I'm going to do what I was created to do. The almost impossible, but you guys can go back all the way up the neck to the headstock and, and work the way that you think and feel is right. There's no rules. There's no laws to music and stringed instruments. You just do it the way that feels comfortable. I mean, you don't even need a string on an instrument to have fun with it or even play it. I don't really want to teach anyone how to do that, but that may happen long term down the future. This is what I didn't want to do and I don't want to do is long term y'all may have in here, there's a, a truss rod. I mean, I just call it a, a, it's a steel rod. You tighten it to the right, you left it to the loose for the bow and the neck of the guitar. These dots, or I call them cheater dots, polka dots, whatever you want to call them, cheater tags, cheater totes, cheater circles, cheater cycles. You could just make it pyramids, make it easier, you could make it squares, make it complicated, make it whatever makes you happy, that's what I recommend. Uh, the reason why I call them cheaters is I'll roll from this end up. Really nice guitars have 24 frets, and that's two octaves, you can go into that later. But this is the 12th fret, so it makes it simple. You can cheat. This is number 12. That's number 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 3, and 24. It usually has two dots. I just call that two octaves. You can play any sound in the world, any note, and you can even push it, write any song, make any song. Let your guitar sing for you, or you can sing with it. No big in the ziggy. This is 9th fret right here. There's number 9, 12, 12, 9, 7, 5, 3. One can have a dot, so, you know, when you're tuning a guitar, you may want to go deep, and tuning a guitar is, is a joke, or is recommended to do easy and cheap. You push down on the fifth string, just the E, and that rhymes to the A, and then the A, push it down on the fifth fret, rhymes to the D, push down on the fifth fret, D rhymes to the uh, G. Now, Satan, this is why this dot tuning stringed instruments is off because it's Satan's fault. He tried to take over, you know, who I don't want to go in that. But if you look on, I don't even want to talk about violence and, and how he thought he thunk. He thought he could sing better than you know who. And I say you're your savior. And, or you can say you're Father God, your God. <clears throat> so Lucifer, Satan thought he could sing and play better. That's where the problem was in band practice right here. Satan kept fucking up. You know, the Lord made everything spiritually perfect for violins and all the instruments in heaven. They're all going to be there when you get there. Satan kept getting nervous, and, he, and God knew that he was going to try to overthrow, and we won't say take the throne or try to take it over. But Satan could never get this note right in 1888 or 1883 or even further back. You can Google Devil's Note. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend playing anything that the devil used to play, except and as well if you know and think you can do it better, which is possible. So this is not impossible to share this. That was where I was headed. Long term, short, long story, term, short, term, long story, short. Back to beating him, to beating the hell out of the devil and kicking his ass. <clears throat> when you're tuning a guitar standard, just tune it standard. And if you want to drop down and have more fun, you can do that too. So, Satan was fucking everything up already for us, and uh, she could never get that note right. So when you're tuning it, number five would be E here, five to A, A five here to D, D five here to G. Satan fucked all this shit up. So right here, we have to go to the fourth fret, all because of you know who, the sorry ass, sick ass, shithead, Satan. She, he wanted to be a she. We're not even going to talk about violence and all that shit and how he lost the war in heaven. So this is why this is fucked up tuning into this instrument here. And then you go back to normal C, which is, you know who, the master man up there. And if you want to believe, and we're not even going to go into that, what you believe the she and he and master, you know. So the worst, best, next, go ahead and pause and edit all that stuff out. But <laughs> newfangled mess. 
you can try to have fun. You know, I'm not going to go into cheat or dots. But one, two, three, we're so happy. Whatever you want, man. I believe in all that just to make sounds. So back here, this is a nut, and it's called a headstock. When I went back to the, the steel rod, the truss rod, we call it a pipe, you know, righty tighty lefty loosey because you there might be a bow in the neck right here um and when you see that bow you want to tighten that rod that's in there and in there up here and it's simple you just get the right tool and you tighten it when the bow's down to the right and this is really right you want to tighten it one eighth of a turn and wait a whole day or less the reason why is because the Lord wants you to take care of his stuff, and so do I. <laughs> so it works. When you do your turns, they're going to say, do a quarter turn or two to three quarters of a turn a day. You know, righty tidy or lefty loosey for your bow. Ain't no big deal. But I'd like, I'd uh, slow it down, wind it down to an eighth of a turn away the whole day. That way you get to enjoy the, the Lord's worth in his property. So, right back in there is a rod, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You don't have to, like I said, no rules and regulations about how you tune. And there's, you know, maybe you should leave it loose every time. I'm not necessarily going to say you can be a master musician, but when you do feel like and you are playing your best, just lay it down. Why? Because the Lord will not let you down. So, when you're at your height, your plateau, your peak of whatever you're doing, lay it down. And it will be given back to you. So, remember, that was what we were going to share about right there. Right here, like I said, there's no rules. rules. And when you string the guitar, you can do it from either side, whatever's company. The winds or pinch is what I call it down. The strings to make it easy. Um, that's why you need to take your time as long as possible to do all the stuff right. And winching and pinching is just a trick. When you, when you come in, the electric strings come in back, I call it back up and through back up and through the bottom the electric strings go in through here and this is a bell this is complicated to get them to pull them out that's why we need new tools <clears throat> but it does work pull the string out shoot it run it right through there into the uh tuning peg is this tuning type loose and then you poke it through that hole which is a peg we call it tuning key pegs tuning key nut or whatever you want to call that right there and this is way getting too complicated, but we, we, you can use tools to get to really be a master mechanic and you, you master mechanic. <clears throat> but like I said, there's no rules about which way you come in that way or under for stringed instruments. Whatever works, that's what you need to work with. The winching and pinching trick is just clamping that part of the string down under the, this part of the string right here. You can go over or under, see how this went that way when you could have come this way around but all you do is you winch or pinch you can go under or over whatever is comfortable there are people listen to them to what they recommend yes listen to them so this is uh the strings actually goes down i call them butterfly wing tips angels and actually you could use this as a theory this is the lord's tool instrument so you know you don't want no satanically sick suckers working on it so i would just say recommend slow and we're trying to remember where we were over there but you can see the ball ends they're still there and we're still working on this and that and we're going to go to where we were getting at so we're working on this and that we're going to go to where where we need to be sit and sat so i guess that would be a good name for sit and sat for all of this, the sitting sad. <clears throat> so, like I said, go listen to a lot of other people before you come to me. <clears throat> you don't have to ask questions, just go listen to them. And then right here, we're going to try to go back to square one, which we're not going to do, but there it was right there. That's just a joke. You can pretend that's something that's of senses of humor <laughs> that makes you laugh, and that too. So we're gonna go back to where how where we started. A uh, good spiritual start, and on to the next spiritual step. You guys can name whatever you want to name all that stuff up there, all the way down here. You forget what I said about 
saving, screwing up all that. Right here was where we're headed at. The joke about seven world's greatest stories in this. Like I said, don't try, unless you're nervous, don't try to drink or smoke before you work on stringed instruments. And that's, you're the world's greatest now, so do whatever makes you happy. So, and also go ahead and take the back plate off every time, unless you think you're in a rush. Like, that could be one of the world's greatest bands, the band Rush. You might want to go listen to them while you're uh, praying. Well, whatever you're doing with this, or to think of that, play Rush. That may help you out. If you don't like that band, play whatever you like. <laughs> anyway, long story short, this is so funny, man. Nickel plush, nickel plush and rush. You can put soft materials on your stringed instruments or any of your instruments that way they don't hurt you. That's a joke. Hey man, let's try nickel plush and rush stuff on our own. You know, put cloth, some cloth down here so it don't hurt. You can even bevel your instruments so they're more comfortable and they don't poke your ribs. And if you believe in the Lord, then you go back to the story about Adam and, Adam and McRib, or McRib and Adam and Adam and Steve or Adam and Eve. Or Adam McRib and even Adam, whatever. And Muhammad, you know, you can believe in what you what you want to, Absalom and Muhammad and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm gonna you probably shouldn't even listen to the rest of this audio section, but Muhammad is what we're gonna share to get through with this to end back where we started. So we started the video with that, and that's supposed to be a sense of humor, and then we went down to that. And that's making them a million billion more dollars, Coca-Cola credit card. So I did that. So I went from a sense of humor to letting go of resentments to not even getting one-sixth of a penny for making them a million to a billion dollars. No biggie, Swiggy. No biggie, Swiggy. No biggie, Twiggy. Here we go. Where I was going was the master way, way, the ones above level better singers and string instrumenters and all that kind of stuff. Those kind of people might want to listen to a little bit of this part right here about the clean instrument. You at least want to go five. That's a really good lie. When <clears throat> when you don't think you can make it, say, no, I'm going to try one one thousandth of a second. I'm going to try a second, maybe a minute, to focus, to work on one thing. You know, the whole second going to the minute. And then you do want to add a minute to another minute, like... Some people would go, you know, you don't like that color. It should be red, white, and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and lie to myself and say I love you. And then you can go ahead and paint, you know, red, white, and blue. I mean, if you're a master, you probably would do something like that plush trick. You know, it's going to set you. It's like I'm making a mark and making a map of where I left off. You know, if you're a master, you know, you might want to lie to yourself and say I left off here. It doesn't even have a strap peg. So you know what? The next second we might want to work on trying to make one or find one and not necessarily go out and get and buy one. Maybe ask for one, pray for one, and it may be given. And then what, what we were talking about there is I, I, we don't feel like we need one. But you could actually, you know what? This is being too honest. Or is You can hide and put tools. And there should be a master guitar with um, the unknown, just the unknown musician here, you know, have a little hidden sesh section, a hidden section, you know, and you can have a hidden recorder right here where the thumb is. You can even paint a thumb on the back, maybe put my name, just have a thumb, and then everything under the thumb is hidden. You know, like, if you like gum, you just pop the thumb, poof, port and there's a piece of gum and then here pop the thumb port and there's a pin so you can work on your string instruments better but that was kind of funny we didn't think we were going there anyway man it's the thumb drum this is the thumb it's the thumb drum yeah so we probably shouldn't put our last little poem song in here so we won't, but we might we might have some fun. Oh yeah, back to the 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 one joke, the world's greatest, whatever, trick. Um, there's hey, look how God did that. He put a strap peg, man, right on where we need it. 
that's a joke the world's greatest master joke and then we were able to share our thumb drum pimp and pumper nickel port so that's two three would be just try to be happy four would be just four is a special four goal your seconds the second i'm gonna try to breathe for one one thousandths of a second, two one thousandths of a second, three one thousandths of a second, and four one thousandths of a second. And then next year, that's just a funny musician thing. A thumb drum, pimple, pumping, pumper nickel port. Anyway, next year we try to go from the fourth one thousandths of a second to breathe to the five one thousandths of a second. But you know what? I'm going to lie and say I love you and I believe in you and I'm not even going to add you. Maybe be able to do it. But anyway... So it's supposed to be funny. I joke about the thumb, pimp, pump, pumper, nickel, port. Anyway, back to the real number three about world's greatest bullshit stuff. Spiritual stuff was originally the world's greatest three is what we intended to be. Pretty cool name for a band, huh? You guys can have it. But guess what the Lord just did, man? He gave us another strap block. Fucking magic, man. I believe in magic. But... The song that will keep me going is the Hawaii Five O, and then maybe playing um, you believe in magic, and there's another one that goes oh oh oh, it's magic, you know, never believe it ain't so. If I rewrote it, it would be oh oh oh, it's magic. You know, I always believe it is so. Boom, 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 boom. That's something that can be complicated for the worlds, the, the, the ones above, you know, we're above level, the world's greatest singers and guitarists. <clears throat> right here's a bridge, and, and you dig in the back, you see springs. Oh, Lord, we forgot the springs sharing. Oh, Lord. Always believe it is so. When you take the back plate off, you're going to find springs. Uh, there's spaces, yes. They have one, two, three, four, and even five springs back there. I'll share about that later. I, it doesn't really, really matter who, why, or what. You, you don't, honestly, you can play the guitar with no strings back there. That's the truth. And you can even hide your strings and all, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, I'm not trying to be a smart ass or funny. You can hide it. You can hide stuff, you know. Look, if, if the Lord just gave us two free strap locks and we didn't have one before and, and we're doing the, all, we're doing what we think is the almost possible, then we think that you can do more than the almost impossible. And behind this back plate are springs. You pop that puppy, pop that thing, pop that top, pop that plastic piece off. And you see springs in Dow. Then springs hold this bridge down, and that is a bridge. In long term, you may learn why the electric guitar needs strings to hold that down, piece down. And then you'll learn why in the back, the springs are connected to continuity, which creates, and we're going to lie and say fluctuates, or keeps electricity flowing and going, because that's what it does. Metal, when you touch, it goes. Well, I guess we do have a light bulb up, bulb up there. Military language for light bulb, you guys are on your own. In the strings, springs, you don't need all five. You could do it with one. You really can do it with two, and you can do it with three, and you may need to do it with five to to secure the bridge down tight. Where What we do is call that... <clears throat> so anyway, flush. The bridge is seated, whatever word you think is right, this is a bridge, a bridge piece, and it's seated, and there's springs that keep this seated, and you can do whammy bar tricks later, for all you people that don't want to do them. Where I was headed really was about cleaning, taking care of your, the Lord's music stuff, and then right in here was a joke. Number five of the world's greatest <clears throat> whatever trick is just, you can do it. I'm not going to do it this way, but I used to do it with classicals. You just spin it, spin it, spin it, and you just recommend it once. And all you do is you just spin it once, and you lay it down. You don't slam it down. But when you set a classical guitar down with no strap lock, it lays seats 
is secure and flush flat. You let your hand off. I mean, you just do it like that. You just take the classical guitar. Well, I'm not supposed to do this, but <clears throat> when you lift the guitar up, you try to go from the bottom up. You don't have to, but that way you don't hurt the guitar from the bottom up. And then I wouldn't do, not even funny, flip turn, flip turn, flip turn jokes, flip flop, flip turn jokes. But you pick it up from the bottom and you hold it with a couple hands. You may need your friends to help. Remember what you want to do is keep your guitar protected, 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 and covered with cloth and clean and in cases and in closets and under beds and whatever thing is safe. It's not something I feel like I need to do, but it's right. Anyway, but you just pick the guitar up right, for the balls may have been, you know, we only have two hounds and there's no one here to help us show you how to do this, but this will be number five on the world's greatest chick with your classical tie. You just flip it around once. But we, we forgot to show you this. You're not supposed to do this, but you just do like that. And you lay the, the instrument down, which is comfortable on your leg like that. So you may go ahead and take take time to make that work but this is where I was headed originally was <clears throat> later on it was very humbling to lose everything I lost and give other people's time to learn this but why on these bridge pieces were they set a certain way and they were slanted in the electric guitar like this and we went through the 1929 frying pan it had a horseshoe pickup it was you guys go google that the 1929 frying pan horseshoe frying pan horseshoe pickup now this is your bridge and why were these shaped and staggered like this and it would be later pray jesus there's a tool to be able to do everything but the electric tall be staggered one two three one saddles and seats so I learned that magic that these saddles were seated one, two, three. If at that angle, it would be like steps. One, two, three. And I said, hey, that's pretty spiritual. That's like magic. So when you feel like you're more right, you'll do more work to make you more right. And your sound sound more right. And that is what this is, this is a bridge. And be careful when you're coming in from this end. This goes in intonation. Why you tighten this? Because this tightens the string. We're gonna lie and say these are saddles, and we're gonna lie and not lie. But this tightens the string from this end. This saddle goes up and down, and that tightens the string as that does also. Magic, huh? See how the Lord tricked the devil. He said, "Satan, you're not allowed to touch this area," which was true. So the saddles went one, two, three, one, two, three, staggered. And I said, okay, that's beautiful. I think I can, we can work with that. It can work with a new tool that cleans. And something I did learn was when you take your tool, your satellite tool, tool. So I guess it's the, we're going to number six of the world traders. Where, the, where, see how we didn't cost there? We are looking for a satellite's, satellite, satellite's tool. Oh, here we go. Here's the saddler's tool. So this is the sad... That's a joke. This is the sad saddler. If you don't think you're going to heaven, you need to show about it because everybody's going to heaven. The saddler... Sad saddler's tool. You can see, you can tighten it. I like using... I like leaving saddles the way they were because I took me doing other people's time